Hey peeps, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ariel, aka Scenario. Thank you so much for joining me today. And if you're new here, thank you so much for joining us today too. Stumbled over the words a little bit. We're gonna keep going. Y'all, <laughs> y'all, okay. Okay, we are about to get into some more DIY. Comment down below, are you here for the DIY? Are you a DIY person? Um. If you're not, am I possibly a little bit maybe convincing you to try it, to try it? Or let me know at the end of the video, am I kind of convincing you that, okay, dang, I want to try it. I want to try it. The way she did it, the how she did it is making me want to try it. Okay. <coughs> Ooh, I took it to a, an octave that wasn't, <coughs> wasn't intended <coughs> um, for my, my voice <laughs> at the moment. That, that was that was low okay so y'all y'all we are getting into this diy diy hair mask so this is different than the other one i did if you did not if you didn't see the other mask that i did then just catch it catch it up here okay catch it up here okay but today we're doing a diy uh mask also with the way that you can use up products that maybe maybe it's not working for you Maybe it's not working for you and you don't feel like using it as a pre-poo. You don't feel like mixing oils and butters and, and whatever to make it a pre-poo. Well, this is another way because I know typically it's always like, just mix it in a pre-poo. Like it's a pre-poo. But what if you don't want to do it like a pre-poo? What if you want to do it another way? Maybe you want to make it DIY. <laughs> I got you. You are at the right place. So before we begin, y'all, if you could please like this video. Y'all see me put on my business voice? I even like, <laughs> business voice, here we go. <laughs> Whip it out. <laughs> Whip it out. Okay, y'all, if you could like this video, if you could please uh, comment down below, like, when I, like, prompt you, like, hey, what about this? What do you guys think of this? Please comment down below. Comments help so much. Comments help my channel to reach other people so we can build our little family that we got going because I see each and every one of you. I see you. I see you. I see you. In my red eye, I see you, okay? And I appreciate y'all so much. And we just want to grow our family, so please um, please comment. It really, really helps. And let's just keep it real. I like to keep keep with y'all. Remember, I ugly cry when I see y'all's comments. And please know, y'all, sometimes it takes me some time just because of life takes me some time to reply back to comments but when i say i will reply please trust me and believe me as long as youtube doesn't make me lose the comment because sometimes I, the phone like loses comments and i can't see when somebody comment so please know i will get back to your comments and i thank you so much for taking the time to comment and that like trust me every single time i really really appreciate it so please just be patient with me if it does take a little bit of time to get back to your comments but they do not go unnoticed or appreciate it like for real thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you lip up thank you okay for real so thank you guys please comment as we go and 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 please subscribe please subscribe because we're growing we're growing amen we're, we're growing amen definitely gonna do a 500 uh giveaway definitely gonna do a 500 giveaway okay definitely going to do that so stay tuned tell a friend tell everybody okay let um share my channel share my videos share it with somebody who could you think could benefit from my videos you know or just like enjoy watching my videos anyways okay let's just move on let's just move on should we get into it <laughs> should we get into it okay let's get into it let's get into it okay i tell you guys what it's been like a week since i sat down to film <sighs> a week can get you so rusty You'd be like, okay, what am I supposed to say here? Oh, that's right. I'm supposed to move into this part. Okay. Oh, and then what am I supposed to do? I'm trying to remember. Oh, just remember. Won't you do it? Thank you, God. Listen, I want to say another part. Y'all, if you are somebody, to, so to let you know if you should subscribe, if you are somebody who likes thorough, in, emphasis on the thorough, detailed reviews, DIYs, okay, natural hair product reviews, and some other reviews, my acting skits, I'm going to be doing some acting skits like natural hair comedy things like that all types of stuff then you're in the right place okay then you're in the right place and please just uh press that subscribe button okay y'all so let's get into it let's talk about what my idea was with coming up with this diy so y'all look at my stash right so i'm looking at it and i'm like mm, gotta use you up gotta use you up gotta use you up and then i fell upon two products that i was like hmm yeah, I could put in a pre-poo. Yeah, I could do that. But then I was like, wait a minute. It's a, one of them is a styler. One of them is a styler. Where did they do that? I personally, I personally don't see 
it mentioned a lot like hey if you have a styler that doesn't work for you use it up as a pre-poo I don't see that as much as like oh a deep conditioner doesn't work for you or something like that use it up as a pre-poo um I looked at it and I was like why don't I use up because I had one one um deep conditioner which is um Sultanicals Magical Molasses deep conditioner okay so you'll see it in a fro despair uh, jar y'all but it's the magical molasses by sultanicals and i did not love that for my hair i just did not i did not i did not i did not i did not love that for my hair love the smell the smell is delicious the smell smells like caramel and deliciousness but i just didn't love how it performed with my hair so i was like okay we got to use it up and your girl bought a liter of it so we were definitely not gonna waste it <laughs> <laughs> we're definitely not gonna waste it okay and we don't waste sultanicals because sultanicals ingredients are just fire to fire bbb amazing right by the way if you don't know what bbb means it means baby boo baby mama it means it's everything okay it means it's everything i don't know how to turn off this ipad's little jing jing so just the little ding ding and the little ping. so just act like you, act like you just didn't even hear act like it's your phone and then like do this because you think it's your phone just every time you hear it just go with that okay okay by the way summer that's you <laughs> that's you <laughs> that's you <laughs> your your messages girl <laughs> hey by the way summer has a channel summer has a channel is summer bailey here on youtube okay so y'all go show some love to her channel she does natural hair product reviews as well okay and she's just a good time she's just a good time she's just a good time okay y'all so oh my scalp is itchy <laughs> scalp is itchy so y'all um so as i was saying like i was looking at the styler i was looking at the magical molasses and i was like okay gotta use you up but i was like I, it's like it's very thick and um and like creamy but like very thick so i would not personally want to detangle with that or like have it as a um pre-poo situation so i was like mm, are you ready mask okay <laughs> check <laughs> check pass go okay so i put that over there but then I looked over there and I saw Twist Assist, which is another Sultanicals product. And that's a thick, like creamy butter situation, but it's like thick and creamy. And that one too didn't work for my my hair. Um, it just didn't, it wasn't, it didn't give me the moisture that I was looking for. So, and y'all know I love me some Sultanicals. <laughs> All her wash days just add to cart, add to cart. Where do I check out? Okay, Shopify, <laughs> where are you? <laughs> Don't sell out of my cart, okay? <laughs> but but some of her style and frizz was i love me some frizz was but some of her stylers just don't work for my hair twist assist was one of them and i was like and i was gonna give it to my sister or or, or somebody but i was like uh let me figure out how i can use this stuff because sometimes she, my sister be like i don't really want you, you you can keep it like why didn't you like it why didn't you like it and i'm like do you want the free product or not <laughs> the attitude on that one am i right <laughs> the attitude anyway <laughs> i'm trying to give her something <laughs> confused anyways um so i saw i said you know what how are we gonna use you up how are we gonna use you up and i looked at my herb babies i looked at my herb babies and i said you know what <laughs> i've got to use you guys up too what are we gonna do with you so i saw i realized that my hair was like needed some moisture i needed some moisture so i, I went ahead and grabbed hibiscus okay and i grabbed aloe do i have it right here to show you no but i will when you stay tuned when we are doing the mixing, okay? So I wanted to tell you guys, we are making a, oh, so basically I want to use that twist assist. I said, I'm going to put that in a mask. It has some of the same ingredients as, by the way, here it is. Uh, some of the same ingredients as like a deep conditioner. I'm going to read you guys some of the deep, uh, some of the stuff it has in it. So aloe infused with organic marshmallow root, castor seed oil, coconut butter, behentrimonium metrosulfate, satirial alcohol. It has a uh, caladinium wax. I said that wrong, probably. Uh, centrimonium chloride, gargum, uh, sesame seed oil. Oh, I don't know these two words. G L U C O N O L A C T O N and sorbic acid and phthalate free fragrance. So that's like, I know sorbic acid, I believe, can like preserve things naturally. And then it says, and an extra, an extra twist of solistic flavor and love. Okay, so yeah, here's the ingredients of that, y'all. So here's this one. And remember, y'all can always pause. And I'll have everything linked down below too. But yeah, so this was a styler that didn't work for me. But I was like, we're going to use this up in a mask. Because as you, you guys heard, besides like the wax, um, the other stuff like marshmallow root, castor seed oil, coconut butter, behendromonium, metro sulfate, all stuff that you find in deep conditioners, right? So all stuff that you find in deep conditioners, sesame seed oil. So I said, why can I use that up 
and a DIY mask. So y'all, I, you always, whenever you're looking at herbs and stuff like that, go off of what your hair needs. So always go off of what your hair needs. Like if you feel like your hair is feeling limpity limp limp, okay, then first off, you need some protein most likely. Let's start there, sis, bro, you, boo. Let's start there first, okay? But after we do this, the protein part, you know, if you're like, okay, I already got my protein or my protein set, but like, I just feel like I still need some strengthening. So you might go more towards henna or some of the other more strengthening um, herbs. I think Brahmi is too, um, or, uh, you know, things like that. But in this case, I say, you know what? My hair could use some, some moisture, some moisture. So I went <laughs> right on down to my little lane of little babies, my herb babies, I call them, where I have it all in glass jars and like all my herbs in them. And I grabbed my hibiscus, cause I know hibiscus is, is, is where the moisture is, okay? And I know aloe is where the moisture is. So I grabbed those two herbs. I also grabbed my coconut milk powder and so coconut milk powder the aloe and then hibiscus so i grabbed all those plus i kind of wanted um to start using those products up too so i grabbed those items and just to answer a question because i used to always have this question beforehand um when i was like just starting out with diy i was like what do i use to how do i know what can be mixed can like any herb be mixed with another herb is it gonna counteract it yes the answer i don't know everything by the way i do not know everything i'm not saying i'm a I'm a genius at all this stuff, but you can mix, you can make your own concoction. So you can put Brahmi and Amla and Bring Raj and, and Henna and uh, all, you can make a concoction of different herbs to suit what you're looking for in your mask, okay? So just keep that in mind. So just like how I just literally grabbed like, okay, here's coconut milk powder, here's hibiscus here's um um here's uh aloe but if i had amla there i would have been like okay i'm gonna add some amla for a little bit of strength so now i have a moisture moisture strengthening balanced mask that i'm gonna make so just remember that go off of what your hair needs and this is why it's good to know the herbs that you're using don't just like oh here's some ayurvedic herbs i'm just gonna grab them and just throw them in there you don't know what you might you know you might be using a strengthening herb at, you know four weeks in a row and then you're like dang my hair's starting to feel a little dry <laughs> a little dry but but length goals length goals okay <laughs> ankle length you know but your hair dry but so maybe you should have balanced it out with some like moisture you know moisturizing herbs so just keep that in mind i want to like tell you guys that because that was like a question that i'm sure probably sounded silly when i asked when i fell into somebody's comments asking that after watching one of their diy videos um but it's a very valid question like if you are just starting out with ayurvedic herbs it's like wait hold on where do i start what do i mix let me know <laughs> Let me know. I don't know what to mix. I don't know what to do. So just know that you can literally mix whatever herbs you want together and make your own little concoction. Okay. Okay. Keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. So yeah, um, guys, I'm going to tell you some of the tea on the herbs that I just mentioned. Okay. So you guys know, again, this is a styler that I'm literally going to use this as like to add some of like how it has the cocoa butter and the pentromonium metrosulfate and the marshmallow root. This is going to add in some moisture with like the butters and the ingredients that are in here. So it's going to add that that element to my mask. So and you guys are going to I'm going to talk about this throughout, too. But that's why I went ahead. And I want to use this. So it's allowing me to use this product up and adding some extra moisture with the butters and the oils that are infused in here in the marshmallow root, which is an Ayurvedic um, herb as well allow me to add that into this mask so it's going to make the mask even better and then same thing with the magical molasses magical molasses i don't have the ingredients off top but it has like molasses in it. i think it has agave in it i believe i could be wrong about that though. i could be wrong about that but i believe it has like pentramonium metrosulfate like classic great ingredients um and by the way sultanicals is a clean brand so you can know <laughs> excuse me by the way <laughs> not editing that out okay um yeah, you you can know that whatever you get from Sultanical, just know that the ingredients are are BBB. Okay, just know that. Just know that. Okay, you don't have to like you ain't gotta whip out the you know Kermit the Frog and try to figure out you know what's in it because all the ingredients the tea is all the ingredients are bomb. Okay, okay, okay. So I wanted to tell you guys some benefits. I don't want to just tell you like, hey, I'm adding aloe. Hey, I'm just adding um hibiscus i want to like let you guys know what some of those benefits are so from this point forward when i do my diy video guys know that i'm going to tell you like a little bit of tea on each herb so you and i know when i asked that in my video um i know some of you guys were like yeah like let us know like what does it do what does that herb do because i don't like to assume that people know all this stuff okay because i'm still learning too so let's find out together okay with our trusty ipad amen amen
So y'all, I mentioned hibiscus. That's what I'm asking, um, adding, and then aloe, and then the um, the other powder. So guys, let's go. <laughs> let's go to Google Kermit the Frog. I've already, I've already done it. I've already done it. So let's go to, we're going to start off with, um, everybody, if you guys can turn your page to page 12, okay? <laughs> page 12, okay? Can you read? Popcorn reading, okay? Popcorn reading time, okay? I'm it. I was always that. Who Comment down below. Were you always that? Were you ever that person when your teacher said popcorn reading? Were you the person that would be like. And you try, or the one that's like tried not to make eye contact? Or were you the one that was like, can I, can I, can I read? Can I, hi, hi, can I read? They used to tell me, um, my teacher used to pretend she didn't see me or, or he didn't see me. I used to be like, oh, I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. And they'd be like, Ariel, you, Ariel, not. We're going to give somebody else. <laughs> We're going to give somebody else a chance to read. Okay, Ariel. I say, well, I don't see nobody else. So are you, are, are you going to read? You, so you still, you still need me. I, I'll wait. So I should start. Okay. Should I stand? Okay. Should I stand? <clears throat> Like, I was so that girl. Who, comment down below. Please let me know. Please let me know. Please let me know. Okay, y'all. And then also comment down below. Have you tried anything, any Ayurvedic herbs, the ones that I just mentioned? Let me know. Let me know. Okay, y'all. So we're going to talk about hibiscus. We're going to talk about hibiscus. So what are the benefits of hibiscus for hair? And I'm on Dr. Google, okay? <laughs> Dr. Google, okay? He helps us through it. So it says it strengthens the hair at the um, at the roots, okay? Hibiscus flowers and leaves are rich in invigorating ingredients, uh, flavonoids, and amino acids. Flavonoids enhance blood circulation to your hair follicles. Ooh, they retransform dormant follicles. So that means like follicles that maybe just are, are just not producing hair growth anymore. Um, uh, let's see if I, from my understanding, uh, they retransform dormant hair follicles into um, hair follicles, stimulating new hair growth. Amino acids trigger keratin pr uh, protein, which is what our hair is made of, if I'm saying that correctly. Keratin protein uh, production in the cells of your hair follicles, encouraging healthy hair growth. It also says it protects your scalp from external damage. Uh, let's see, it says hibiscus plants are packed with resilient properties that keep your scalp protected from external sensors. Ooh, so it impacts on your scalps, acts as sunscreen to protect your hair from UV rays. It says it delays premature grain. <laughs> Amen, because listen, your girl, your girl, I I mean, I, I do dye my, my grays that I have with henna. By the way, I um, let me know, do you guys want to see a video about what henna has done to help with my grays? So let me know. I don't know if um, any of you all are gray. I know I have a few ladies. Okay, I know I have a few ladies that are great as well, um, but let me let me know if you guys want to um, want to know like how henna has impacted my grades and like the benefits I feel that I've achieved from using henna regularly on my grades. Let me know, let me know, or just uh, henna in general. Okay, so delays premature grading. I know I grade really early, like I literally had my first three at like eight or nine. Um, so I like I love that it, it delays premature grain. It prevents dandruff. Okay. Um, let's see. It says it deeply conditions your hair, which I, I totally attested that hibiscus is very, very moisturizing, very moisturizing. And it says, um, it makes your dry, it says, oh, uh, let's see. Hibiscus acts as an ultra emollient that traps moisture in your hair's, uh, shafts and restores elasticity and hair strands. Ooh. Okay. It regulates, um, Oh, sebinous glands. Okay. Awesome. So there's lots of benefits. As you can see, there's lots of benefits to using hibiscus and y'all I am on, I'm on some site online, but anyways, um, like I'm like leaving, <laughs> like making a report, um, a, a book report. You know how you always have to like cite the, the place. And I found that on Google, um, dot web slash da -da -da. Ooh, I hated citations. Wasn't that called? Wasn't that called citations? I can't remember, but I hated that. I hated it. It was too much. It was too much. It was too much. So anyway, y'all, hibiscus has so much good stuff. So much good stuff. But the moisture is just there for it. So keep in mind, like, if any of those things that you're looking for, like, if you're looking for something that can help you with your dandruff, now you know hibiscus is something that helps with that. If you're looking for something that it delays premature grain, hibiscus helps with that. Um, 
strengthens your hair roots if you have some dormant hair follicles that like i know i have a spot over here literally and i think it was from my relaxer days i think it was just literally me just like ooh, like trying to feel the burn you know what i mean like i used to be like no i'm okay <laughs> ooh, <laughs> I'm burn. you know like it still hurt it still hurt and i just let her like keep it on for longer y'all i for real have a spot like right here that your girl's still trying to grow back it's got like three hairs out of it but the rest spot the rest of it <laughs> is smooth as, as the moon I and mean, the moon has some craters but okay this is smooth as a, i was gonna say a golf ball something smooth okay something smooth I was gonna say a tangerine, but that's not even. Can I think of anything smooth? What's smooth? A little beach ball? I don't know. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. So this is a, now that I know that I'm like, oh, let me let me make sure I put my hibiscus. Let me do these more regularly. So another thing with herbs, y'all, it is not a one stop stop. It's not when you just put it on once and you're like, oh, that was great. I'm gonna I'm gonna get all the benefits. No, you have to use this stuff is continuous. This is over time. So you know doing it for six weeks you're going to start to see results you know a month's time like it's about doing it consistently because consistency is key consistency is key it's just like you know it's just like washing your hair and taking care of your hair if you take care of your hair one wash day and then the rest of them you, you know you doing mechanical damage and all this other stuff that one little good wash day ain't gonna matter because all the other stuff you gotta be consistent so you can see the length retention so you can see the rapunzel so you can see down to the ankles okay to the pinky toe okay so all about consistency so just remember that so all these benefits are with consistent use now things like the moisture and stuff that moisture will be instant typically when you rinse it out but but i'll let you guys know how this goes after i rinse this out i already know the tea because girl y'all i'm in the future right now i'm in the future okay y'all about to watch the past video but i'm in the future recording this part and let me just say stay tuned <laughs> stay tuned that's all i'm gonna that's all the tea i'm gonna give you that is all the tea Oh, I really go up too. Oh, I got was really drinking tea. Okay, acting. Okay. Um, <laughs> um, I already know the tea, so y'all need to keep y'all just keep watching. So that's hibiscus, y'all. Let's move on. We've learned enough about hibiscus. So now let's move on to um, let's see. Okay, coconut milk powder. Okay, so this is talking about in general about coconut, but coconut milk powder. You know, coconut milk powder. Same difference. Um, uh, in my book, at least. Okay, so it says that it's high in vitamin C, E, B1, B3, B5, and B6. Um, let's see, what else does it say? Um, so, oh, it's high in protein. It says your hair is made of keratin, a type of protein that is supported by the types of protein that you eat. Coconut milk has a high protein uh, file. Ooh, that can potentially keep your hair strong. Okay, okay, all right. Awesome. Okay, and it says um, it says you can also gain these same benefits by drinking coconut milk as well as applying coconut milk or the powder. You know, you can apply it topically as well. Okay, so let's see what else it says. Okay, slows hair loss. Coconut oil has been noted for making the hair cuticle stronger, so it's so that harmful um, substances and water won't lead to breakage as easily. In turn, you might find a reduced rate of hair loss related to damage okay so that's good to know that's good to know restores a uh, dry hair and scalp gets rid of dandruff okay so now you see how like now like putting now this is a second piece in the mask that i'm putting in my mask my diy mask that is going to aid with dandruff so that's why it's so good to know about what you're putting what you're mixing together because listen I, i'm gonna be honest i didn't even know that <laughs> I didn't even know that like let me not sit here and act like i was like i'm gonna grab the hibiscus for help with dandruff and i'm gonna grab the coconut milk powder to help with dandruff no i was like i need to use you up and i need to use you up that that's really the tea that's really the tea that's the that's the real tea on it but now that i know that kind of worked out so let me take my own advice and you know look look at what you're putting in because look now i had two things that are going to help with dandruff so that's just good that's just good okay and this also talked about um restores dry extra, <laughs> Rest restores dry hair and scalp okay so the moisture just like hibiscus is very moisturizing and then slows hair loss so and we already know that hibiscus helps with um the the different things that are in the amino acids and everything that i just read before hibiscus helps with um you know that hair growth, the hair, the, the hair, the length retention, okay? The moisture, the moisture. Because your hair, the moisture is very important. Very important, okay? Okay, y'all, so 
good to know. Oh, and, and high in protein, which I love to know that because now it makes this this mask a little bit like more moisture protein balance, which which I love, which I love. Okay, y'all. So the last one we're gonna go into is um, the benefits of aloe vera. Okay, so I'm using aloe vera powder, and let's just get into that really quick. Okay, so it says that. Do, 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 do. Come on, Dr. Google. Okay, so it says it strengthens hair. Aloe vera has many active ingredients and minerals that can help strengthen your hair. It has fatty acids and amino acids and is rich in vitamins A, B12, C, and E. And this play a part in healthy hair follicles. Awesome. So I love I love to know. I, I didn't even think of aloe as strengthening, honestly. I've always thought of it as moisturizing, so that's actually good to know. Comment down below. Did you know that aloe was a strengthening? That can help with strengthening and or like with hibiscus did you know hibiscus and coconut milk powder was actually moisturizing as well and it helped with like you know um hair fall and things like that and like how hibiscus helps with dormant hair follicles let me know did you know that stuff or like put me on game with some other herbs that you love let me know comment down below please comment down below okay so it says controls greasy hair aloe vera has enzymes that break down fats and um and so strips your hair of extra oil so sebum that's good to know that's really good to know. So if you have excess oil, aloe vera is going to help to keep that in order. It helps an itchy um, itchy scalp. So it says um, dermatitis is a common inflammatory skin condition that affects your scalp. It causes dandruff, red skin, and scalpy patches. And it's shown that aloe vera can significantly help with that. Super good to know. So if, if you if you um, suffer with uh, dermatitis, or um, or you know you know someone who does aloe vera. Is something that will really can help really help to soothe that so that's really good to know and you guys know how like aloe vera like you put it on a burn and it like it's just so soothing like so i'm thinking about that for your scalp too and it is really soothing it just it feels so good it feels so good even if you guys just so you guys know another little tip and i'll have to do that on channel too if you just add like water and um hot water and like a teaspoon of aloe vera and you just like let it sit and then it redu it um gets that nice that extract out of it and it, it just creates like this wonderful kind of slimy mask and if you put that even if you just just do a straight aloe vera mask as a like a diy aloe vera mask situation y'all your hair is just gonna feel like butter <laughs> it's gonna feel like butter it's gonna feel so hydrated so that's a little thing too hair growth okay hair hair growth has entered the chat okay so some people say aloe vera helps with hair growth um let's see it's see it has other different things in it so y'all don't want to you know read the whole thing but those are just some of the things that aloe vera helps with so i just want to give you guys a little bit of tea on each one okay okay so i hope that your cup has been filled i hope that your cup has filled been filled i hope that you kind of feel a little bit better going into this mask and i feel like we're ready to start the mask are you guys ready to see i know i am i know i am why am i girl you already saw it it's done it, it it's already down the drain to, to to somewhere else okay it's <laughs> I don't know where it is, okay? It's, it's in California or somewhere right now, okay? Because it's been gone down the drain. But I'm ready to know how you guys feel about the mask. So please comment down below. Did you guys like me, like, telling you some of the information about it before you actually, like, get into the mask and the application and everything so you can kind of know what go what's going into it? Let me know. Did you like that? Did you like that feel, um, this little chat through? Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. But for now... With no further ado. Oh, glycerin. Oh, I knew I was forgetting something. Won't he do it? Thank you, Jesus. Okay, y'all. I forgot to tell you about glycerin. So I'm putting glycerin in here. Gl glycerin is actually something that draws um, moisture from the air to your hair. So like that's, it's really good. Another element to add moisture. So you're going to see me add glycerin into my mask as well. And, and I know a lot of times people don't like glycerin for like in stylers and stuff like that. Like in certain climates, like the humidity, like it make their hair puff, you know what I mean? Because it's actually drawing that moisture from the air to your hair. But this is a hair mask. This is a this is a deep conditioner type of situation. So this is good. It's good to add that moisture because that's what I'm looking for out of this mask. It's the moisture, 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 moisture. Okay, moisture, moisture, moisture. Okay. All right, y'all. So let's get into the mask. Okay. I hope you I hope you like it. Don't forget comment down below and let me know your thoughts thus far are you let me know are you just put just put hashtag excited hashtag is it bbb hashtag is it bbb though we're gonna find out we're gonna find out okay all right y'all so here's the application okay welcome to ariel's laboratory this is the ayurvedic center my name is ariel we're gonna get into it we're gonna get into it okay 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 
Okay, come on, autofocus. Okay, iPhone. Okay, iPhone. All right, so y'all, you guys already, I'm going to show you guys again the goodies. Um, only thing I added, I added some water. This is some warm, warm to hot water, okay? And y'all, we're going to go ahead and mix everything. You guys should have already seen everything in the other clip because y'all, I am filming this out of order. So hopefully I explain everything that's here um, right now. So y'all, I want this to be a heavy on the herbs heavy on the herbs um, uh, treatment this time. So I am going to, but I want the, the moisture of the glycerin, okay? But I also want to use up these stylers um, that you guys have already seen. So I'm not gonna go over it again. So I'm not gonna go over it again. I'm working on it. No more repeating, Ariel. Okay, y'all, so I got my spoon. I got my plastic. Oh, and I'm not using any clays, so metal spoon should be fine. Um, yeah, metal metal should be fine because it's not any any sort of like herbs that are. Um, I mean, it's not clay. It's not clay. It's not clay because you're not supposed to use metal with clay. So y'all, I'm going to go ahead and start off with the herbs that I want. Um, so I can make sure I prioritize them. So here is the aloe. Okay, here is what it's looking like inside. Okay, and this is the brand that I should have talked about. So guys. Remember when you're doing a treatment, like it, you're literally eyeballing things. Just eyeball it. You don't have to do like, you don't have to go get, you know, two scoops of this or two scoops of that. If you're a beginner at all this, you can start off definitely with, with teaspoons, I mean tablespoons. So like, for example, if we just look at this, this is probably about two tablespoons of aloe vera powder. So this is about two tablespoons of aloe vera powder. Okay, so I'm going to actually probably start off with three heaping tablespoons okay so i'm gonna do tablespoons that way it'll make it a little bit easier just in case you guys want to follow this recipe and see how you like it um and you know and just of course include your own you know stylers you're trying to use up you know uh or whatever so yeah so let's go into the next one okay y'all and i don't mind mixing my herbs i'm just going to because you know it's my miss my herbs it's okay so here is the hibiscus powder so looking so good i love the color of hibiscus so i'm gonna get two big heaping actually let's do three again three heaping tablespoons of hibiscus powder okay so right now we got aloe and we got hibiscus okay and we're gonna leave it all separate like that because it just looks pretty it looks pretty i'm actually y'all i have so little bit of this hibiscus left i'm just gonna pour this is about another tablespoon and y'all my hair is about when it's stretched it's about shoulder length not all the way around because y'all i got some layers from cutting it myself all these these two years but um but yeah so my hair is but roughly my hair is about shoulder length or so 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 that was about four tablespoons of hibiscus okay and then three tablespoons of aloe so i'm just gonna leave it like that we're not gonna mix it just yet so as you guys can see it's not a ton when you actually look at it, it's really not a ton of product yet until we um let's go ahead and add the water and stuff here in a second so that way you guys can really see how much we have because herbs soak up a lot of water especially like henna but some herbs especially can really really soak up a lot of water so then you'll you'll see like oh i need to add more liquid or i need to add more conditioner or whatever it might be so I'm just going to add the dry ingredients first and so I can make sure I'm, I know how much herbs I'm putting in. So that's my tip. I would start off with however many herbs that you want. So like if it's like four tablespoons of herbs, like you want to make sure that you're going to a good dose of Ayurvedic herbs in your treatments. Start off with the dry ingredients first, kind of like you're making a cake. Okay, this is a cake for your hair. Start off with the dry ingredients first and then start adding in like the liquids or like, you know what I mean? Because then you can make sure that you're getting that, um, the quantity that you want. So like, like I was telling you guys, I want a lot of herbs. I want this to be heavy on herbs. I don't want it to be heavy on conditioner and then a sprinkle of herbs. So like my other video, um, that I did link or I'll link right now, um, I did the conditioner first and then I added the herbs. This time we're doing it the other way around because I want to make sure that this time I'm getting a lot of herbs, okay? So y'all, another thing that we're going to make sure that we add 
um, is this other dry ingredient, which is some coconut powder. Okay, coconut powder, and I should have talked about that already. Uh, I don't want to mix this spoon in here just because I don't know if coconut powder and herbs will mix. I don't want to like contaminate anything, but I'm just going to put probably about, mm, again, about a tablespoon. So I'm just going to eyeball this one. So let's just put, mm, let's put about, I think that, I think that's about, I think that's about good. So let's do, let's do that a little bit. I mean, that's just like a little right there. So, um, looking good. Okay. Looking good. So I'm going to go ahead and just mix this together. And then when you guys mix it together, you can kind of see like, okay, do I think that's going to be enough to like coat all my strands? Honestly, I think this is going to be a good amount of, um, and see how the hibiscus is just taking over. Okay. Hibiscus is just taking over. So I think this is going to be the perfect amount for me to definitely coat my strands. So I think I'm going to stop there as far as the herbs. So I have the hibiscus and I have the aloe. I'm going to show you guys close up what it looks like. Doesn't that look so nice, y'all? It looks so good. And then we got the coconut powder in there. And we have very little coconut powder. But y'all, it looks so good so far. I love it. I love it. And y'all, ignore my, my, uh, my ring light trying to show out in public. Ignore my ring light showing out in public. <laughs> <laughs> excuse that excuse that okay y'all so now i'm gonna go ahead and go in with the wet ingredients um i'm gonna start off with about a tablespoon of this ve vegetable glycerin here okay palm derived um and this is vegetable glycerin okay so let's go ahead and use this okay and oops <laughs> Let me get a tablespoon of that. So y'all, I'm going to link it down below. But if you want to support also another fellow YouTuber, go to Sheree's, um, Sheree Del Sol's um, description box on uh, one of her videos. She has an Amazon store. That's where I got this um, glycerin. And then that way you can support her channel um, as well. Okay. So because I don't have an Amazon store hookup yet. I got to do it though. I got to do it. But for now, y'all. You know, and we always got to, we can always show love to other fellow YouTubers. By the way, another shout out to another YouTuber that is doing Ayurveda, Ayurveda as well is Miss Lady Smash. Hey, Elena, if you are watching, um, she's going on an Ayurvedic journey as well. So go ahead and support her channel too. She makes great content. Love watching her stuff too. Okay, y'all. So look, vegetable glycerin, <laughs> where to go? Where to go? So we could probably add even another one. So I'm gonna just add and vegetable glycerin. You guys know this is a this is a good way to get some moisture, another element of moisture, because I am planning to do a full blown henna treatment. <laughs> the full blown henna treatment. Let me know if you guys want to see me. Uh, comment down below if you guys want to see that. If you guys want me to do that on camera, I think I'm going to do uh, curly proverbs a treatment this time so i'm excited i'm excited so let me know let me know if you want to see it um so i can record that for you guys so let me know okay y'all so now i'm gonna go in with this magical molasses so instead of going in first with water i'm gonna go in with the conditioning stuff because this is kind of going to add as kind of aid as like a liquid version as well and then i can make sure i'm getting as much conditioning agents that i want into my Ayurvedic treatments before I'm adding the water because sometimes if you put too much water in y'all first then sometimes you'll look up and you have so much water based like your your mask is like ready to go like your your mask is done and then you're like dang it I, I wanted to add I wanted to add more you know a more conditioner or I wanted to you know use up this styler and by the way this is my first time using up a styler in a mask but y'all look at the ingredients the ingredients, I mean, this is sultanical. This is sultanical. So the, t the ingredients are nice and pure. Sorry, the jar's dirty. But this is great ingredients in it. All stuff that you would easily find in a conditioner um, as well. Uh, maybe one or two things like the wax that you maybe wouldn't find in a conditioner. But um, but that's okay because we are going to use it up in this, in this mask, okay? And it's going to do nothing but good to the hair. Amen? Amen? Okay, y'all. Actually, I just remembered I have my henna soup mask that I want to grab. And put in this as well so i'm gonna grab that really quick but again y'all 
um, put in all the conditioning agents, like conditioners and things like that, in first and then add the water. That way you make sure you it's everything that's really, really important that you want in your mask in there first. And then like water is just kind of a mixing agent in my opinion. Um, if that makes sense, please let me know. Comment down below if you guys need like further explanation as far as with that. But let me know. And also like with oil, this isn't Alec and Naturals oil. This is my oil I made. Look at all those, look at all those, <laughs> those giblets and grits down at the bottom. Look at the grits at the bottom, y'all. So this one's, this baby's been sitting for a hot minute, a hot minute. So it's ready to be used up. But, um, I'm going to wait to put this in until the end as well. Okay. So I'm going to go grab those, um, those two masks real quick and then I'll be right back. But please comment down below. I hope this is all making sense. And yeah, let me know if you guys have more questions. I'm not, the, I'm not saying I know everything y'all, but, but I'm going to share with you what I know and what I do and hope that this helps somebody. Okay. All right, y'all, I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, so I actually changed my mind. I'm gonna save those henna soup masks for another video. Comment down below if you want to see those ready-made henna soup masks that she sells. Um, let me know, and I will be happy to do that video for you guys. So we're just gonna work with the herbs and the goodies that we have here, okay? Okay, okay, y'all, so, um, so I just mixed in the vegetable glycerin. Okay, now we're gonna go in with the conditioner. So I really wanna use up this, this one here. It just wasn't my um, favorite on my hair, but I love sultanicals, okay? I love sultanicals. So, it was no way, okay? No way that I was going to be um, just, like, you know, putting this in the trash or anything like that. But it just didn't work um, exactly how I was hoping it would on my hair. But she has such amazing ingredients in her products that I was like, you know how we're going to do this? We're going to use it up. God gave me the idea. And here we are. We are using up this styler. So, okay. So, see, this is all in here, y'all. And we're going to scrape that clean, too. Okay, we're going to scrape that clean. I'm going to add it at the end of the video once we're done. But here's this here. Okay, so now I'm just going to leave this here. So, this is counting as part of the conditioning base. Okay. Um, I hope you guys are still with me. I hope you guys are following this is actually, um, you guys should already know what this is actually because I should have talked about it. Y'all, you can't tell me this does not look like the icing that you put on your Pop-Tart. You can't tell me it don't look like it. You can't tell me it don't look like it. So this is going to be, I can already tell in the bag, like it's going to be so smooth and creamy in my hair, which I'm excited about. I'm excited about. And then it has that rice protein in it. So it's going to be a nice little moisture protein balance okay okay we like that we like that okay so yeah guys this i hope this is giving you hope that like if you have a styler or something you know i'm not uh, you know something with natural ingredients like how sultanicals has such natural ingredients something with really natural and clean ingredients um you can easily use it up in like um in as a, as a hair gloss you know it doesn't have to say conditioner so that, um, you know what I mean? It doesn't have to say conditioner. And that's the only way, oh man, I'm gonna have to just get rid of this style. I'm gonna throw it away. It's not working for me. No, no, sis, bro, you, boo. No, use it up as a treatment, as a treatment. Okay, y'all, so I added the aloe. I added the hibiscus. I added these two stylers. Now, you know, we're getting, we're getting there, y'all. We could definitely, here, let me get you in frame. Come on, come on, boo, in frame. So I'm going to just add, just because, again, I want to um, have some more of that moisture protein balance. This is the Magical Molasses by Sultanicals. And this one has baobab protein in it. And it has molasses in it. Okay. So I'm going to add some good drops of that. So now this is actually a deep conditioner. Um, so I'm adding a few good dollops of that in there. So again, a gloss is when you're adding, you know, how I'm adding all these conditioning agents, it's officially a gloss now. Had I just did the aloe hibiscus, I mean, yeah, the aloe hibiscus by itself and added some water or some hair tea or something, then it would have been a full treatment, a full Ayurvedic treatment, um, if that makes sense, y'all. Okay, y'all. So then the next thing I'm just going to add, I'm going to mix up 
So remember y'all, if you guys have an Ayurvedic oil or something of some sort, if you make it, remember a lot of times all your oils are going, I mean, all your herbs are going at the bottom and collecting down there. Make sure you mix it up, okay? Make sure you shake it up. You know what I'm saying? Shake it up, 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 shake it up. Shake it up, shake it up. Okay, shake it up so, so you can get as much as you can of those oils down at the bottom, okay? So, um, and, th and another thing, save your bottles, okay? This is such a good bottle by Allocate Naturals. I've had this bottle for years okay so i'm just gonna literally add and thank you to my girl renee for mentioning this last time in my other video she mentioned hey um did you think about adding some oil to aid and slip and i was like girl why didn't i think of that why didn't i think of that thank you renee so thank you girl hey sis if you're watching okay y'all so y'all i'm gonna when you're mixing the herbs remember guys don't you know you don't be a hand mixer and be like ah. like take your time because you're just gonna be wasting look i already put i got I already got 10 cents on the floor right now because because I was rushing. So take your time, take your time, take your time. And y'all look how creamy it already is. It, like it's already creamy. And what I love about hibiscus is the color, y'all. The color just takes over everything that you have. Okay, y'all. So it's nice and thick. So I'm going to actually go ahead and put, start putting in a little bit of water. So put in the water a little bit at a time. One thing you don't want to happen I mean, it's fixable, of course, but something you look at that color looks like wine, y'all. Looks like wine. Go get your cup. Go get your cup, okay? So, <laughs> one thing you don't want to happen is where you put too much liquid in and then you're trying to thicken it up and add more herbs and thicken it up. So, just take your time with it, okay? And add the herbs little by little. And then to help with it, to, to make it as smooth as possible. Take your time, especially if you don't have an emergent blender and you don't have all that fancy stuff or you don't feel like doing all that. Even if you have, you just don't feel like doing all that. You don't feel like doing all that. So then just go ahead and um, just use a regular spoon, okay? And just mix it slowly. That's it. Mix it slowly, like how I'm doing right here. And just take your time. Go read a book. Listen to an audio book. <laughs> Who listens to an audio book? I prefer... I was talking to my girl Summer about this. I prefer paper. I prefer paper. I prefer having the book in my hands as well. You know? You know? Like, it's just something about having it in your hands for you to be able to, you know, to get that experience. <laughs> you know what I mean? Comment down below. Are you the same? Are you the same? I need to get back to my reading, though. Okay, y'all. So, look how much... So here's what it's looking like. Yes, it's still lumpy. Yes, it's still bumpy, but it's getting there, okay? Okay? Like a pearl. These things take time to make, okay? They take time to make. And make sure you're getting all the way at the bottom, too, when you're mixing because, y'all, there will be pockets of, like, air and herbs down there. So make sure you're taking your time and getting those pockets all the way down at the bottom. You know how, like, when, you make an, when you're mixing a cake and then you forgot that whole section at the bottom and then you're pouring the cake in the thing? Like when you were a kid and then you were like, or an adult. And then you <laughs> you look up and you're like, dang it, I didn't mix that all the way. And you got this big old flower pocket. So take your time, take your time, take your time. So now this is getting nice and thick and like creamy, y'all. But it's definitely thick. Look, look. So it's definitely thick. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add just a little bit more water. And then I'm going to add a little bit more oil and y'all if you guys are not into oils no problem don't add it you know you don't have to have it this just aids oils just aid and slip and in my opinion it's going to help to lock in the moisture um it's going to help lock in the moisture that i have in this mask as well because i have like you know there's butters and the stylers that i added um there's butters and and there's butters and other um moisturizing ingredients in the ingredients that I added to this so it's just going to help lock in those that moisture and aid and slip but then again y'all I honestly do not I never expect to detangle with my um that's not what I'm looking for in my Ayurvedic herb treatments I'm just looking for whatever that herb is uh claims are um like what I went through with you guys earlier that's what I'm hoping for from that mask that's what I'm hoping for from that mask not not anything else honestly because i like to detangle during pre-poo 
And then this, I just want all the goodness. I want all the goodness of the herbs. But of course, it's a bonus if it has slip. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So comment down below who has used aloe before? Who has? I think all of us. Aloe is so common. Hibiscus is becoming really common because, like, hibiscus is a very versatile. Like, you know, it's not going to stain anything, like, from my knowledge, um, like henna will or things like that. And it's so moisturizing. So, y'all, look how creamy this is. You can't, you can't tell me this don't look like Kool-Aid, Kool-Aid, Kool-Aid. Okay, and look how creamy this is. Like, I love the look of this. I love the look of it. And the little bitty bumps, y'all, I'm not bothered by the little bumps. I am not bothered by the little bumps. I'm not selling this. I'm not selling it. It's just for me. It's just for me and to show you guys. So it is okay for it to have some little bumps in it. But yeah, y'all, this is what it's looking like. What are you guys thinking? What are you guys thinking? Again, if you have like that little hand blender then you could definitely get out some of these bumps. But yeah, look how creamy it is. What I, Another thing I love about those powders, y'all, is these are going to wash clean out of your hair. I didn't have to sift these or anything like that. I poured them straight from the bag, and this is how it turned out. So I love that. Now, this is a lot. So this see how this, this turned out to be quite a bit. So this is probably going to be one and a half treatments for me, for my hair, but that's okay. If you have too much, all you got to do is whatever you didn't use, you can either put it in ice cubes in the freezer. Um, you can put it in little molds and create cute little uh, like uh, little treatments that you can just melt down later. Um, or you can just literally put some saran wrapper on it, put it in the refrigerator and use it next squash day. It'll be fine for a week in the, in the refrigerator, okay y'all? But yeah, this is it. So now you guys are gonna see me go ahead and apply this to my hair. But yeah, it's so pretty. And if for some reason, um, I know I mentioned this in my first video, a lot of times if you let herbs sit, they do tend to get a little bit thicker. So y'all, just remember, um, you can always add a little bit more water. You can always add a little bit more oil, but it's easier if you just go ahead. I mean, not easier, but you can always add just a little bit more water, mix it up, and then it'll come right back to this creamy um, texture that you have right here. Okay, so... Um, yeah, and again with this recipe, y'all, I was just playing around with it. I'm just, you know, I use I to do treatments every single week. But remember, everything you you guys will learn about quantities. You'll learn how much your hair uses or how much it doesn't use. I know with this bowl, if it's filled up, I'm probably gonna use this for two uses, which is perfect. That that's great. So maybe next time I can do this that that the tea the teaspoons and everything that I did. Maybe next time I can just add less, and you know add more add less herbs or honestly i could have just added less conditioner um like i added quite a bit of this um this magical molasses i added probably about probably about three ounces or four ounces of that i probably could have not have been as heavy-handed on that and then it wouldn't have been as much but that's all right that's all right that's all right okay this is we are using up our, our products and i mean look at that it, it was worth it It was worth it is it worth it let me work it hey 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 okay y'all uh here is the application in my hair so y'all i even let this sit for like a good 30 minutes and it's still super creamy and like sometimes i like to let my herbs sit anyway y'all just so it can get um develop you know it can just develop a little bit more oh sorry it smells a little delicious this smells a little <laughs> delicious it smells a little delicious y'all oh my gosh okay so yeah look how creamy the texture is you guys already saw the texture now this shouldn't have anything that's gonna like dye anything so i'm just gonna go ahead y'all and go in and my hair is so soft it's so soft because i use the sultanicals rice butter shampoo y'all my hair is so soft i used it twice my, my hair is clean but it's soft y'all it's clean but it's soft now with herbs y'all i like to smother them all over typically if it's a gloss treatment because it has like conditioners and stuff in it i typically don't put it on my scalp but like if it's just a regular treatment like just herbs and water i smother it on my scalp too but like this is a gloss like it has like you know um stylers and stuff in it like conditioners and things like that um because it has like other ingredients like i was trying to look for the the other thing but like because those conditioners aren't necessarily made to to be put on the scalp like it doesn't say like put on scalp and things like that like i'm not gonna 
or smother this one on my scalp but again if i just did just like a straight herbs treatment where it'd be an actual treatment of just herbs and water or herbs and hair tea or you know what i mean like where it's just herbs and no conditioner then that's when i smother it all over but for now y'all because it's a gloss and i'm doing it with it i'm just gonna smother it on my on my hair but my y'all my hair feels so soft my hair feels so soft oh gosh comment down below if you guys want me to do a review on that sultanicals um but a shampoo the rice one because i'm just <laughs> i'm just saying it showed out it showed out my hair is soft my hair is so soft okay y'all so here's my hair as it is there it is okay and y'all my phone is dying okay so i'm going to go ahead and try to do this expeditiously okay okay so here's that red okay look at the shine okay okay hibiscus okay hibiscus so i'm going to apply this and don't forget those edges why does this look like color paint, color wax or color paint y'all why is it reminding me of that <laughs> so i i apply my um um my treatments just like i apply my deep conditioners so like on damp hair or dry i mean my hair is kind of dry right now but you know what that's okay because i'm not doing um i'm not looking for like slip or anything with this but it is gliding straight down my strands it's great gliding down my strands very well and coating them but yeah i know it, it does feel like if i did have like some sort of liquid it would definitely be doing something it would definitely like move through a little bit easier but remember i'm not I'm just trying to smother this on every single layer so it's okay that my hair is not damp but yeah y'all look at, and I love how herbs like this like uh products like this y'all I mean not products ha <laughs> ha <laughs> Ariel's line her BBB line okay baby baby mama line I love how they weigh your um your curls down that's what I was gonna say so y'all look at that doesn't that look so good look at that oh look at oh look at the pink look at the pink look looks like I'm, I'm doing like a you remember those those shirts that you make and you dip your hands in, in paint and you're like ah. like this reminds me of y'all come on come on hibiscus come on hibiscus so i'm just literally just working it from root to tip so now i definitely want to get on my roots even though i'm not smothering it on my scalp i definitely want to get it on my roots Ugh, and it just feels so good and let's just look at my curls are just enjoying it enjoying it enjoying it and i love how like thick and creamy this is um because i really feel like this is going to be um oh just and i didn't even use a lot i'm definitely gonna have a lot extra and again that's why we play with it y'all like when you're doing measurements just play with it like there's no it doesn't have to be like a science to thing like yeah you can do like uh, like for example when i'm making my hair tea i do typically stand by the rule of thumb where it's um oh what is it oh i do one tablespoon so again guys here it is it doesn't look good it looks so good how it's already defining my curls my curls are getting moisturized it feels so smooth and smooth going on my hair y'all very smooth and just like weight it down i love that but not too but not where you can't like it's not pliable at all so i'm gonna get that little that little you gotta open up your sections y'all get get every niblet and giblet okay every niblet and giblet so i was just gonna say actually i don't remember what i was gonna say i don't even i don't recall i don't recall so y'all i'm just gonna um do this now one thing um, I actually learned from Hannah Sook's channel. She said it's best just to like avoid breakage or anything like that because herbs, you know, some herbs are really strengthening. Some are really moisture moisturizing. Like right now, the ones we have in our hair, I mean, one, ones I have in my hair are the moisturizing herbs. But sometimes, you know, some herbs are not considered moisturizing. Some are more of strengthening. You know, just, um, you just want to make sure that you like keep your hair like in a plastic. She said, don't let it dry out. Because then it can kind of, and I I can attest to that because the times where, and y'all, I'm closing my eyes because I do not want hibiscus and aloe <laughs> in my eyeball, okay? Okay, don't want it, don't want it there. You don't belong here, okay? Nobody's supposed to be in there, okay? All right? Don't want a stranger in my eyeball, okay? 
So let me move this back. But she was just saying like when you let it dry out, your hair can kind of get like not hard, but you know, kind of hard, low key, kind of like a clay. So you don't want to, um, yeah, you don't want your hair to end up kind of breaking because once you try to manipulate it and you know move it underneath the water or whatever, you know it it may take some time or just it being hard. So if you can, if you can, if you remember sis bro you boo don't forget to um keep on a plastic cap okay that way it keeps all the hydration in so uh, i mean keeps that the moisture in so your hair won't dry out it's just going to uh and it, it also creates a bit of steam you know because i'm gonna go put my hot head on as well um while this is brewing but yeah y'all look at it what do we think it's so creamy. I just love how creamy it is. I love, look at that. Look what it's doing to my curls, y'all. Like, just hydrating the mess out of them, okay? The mess out of them. And this is what I wanted. This is exactly what I want. You know, another thing I want to say is, guys, I'm going to let this sit. I'm going to try to let it sit for an hour, y'all. It is super late, like 1 a.m. So I'm going to try to let this sit for an hour. I actually still need to put on my deep, my DC. So we gonna, we going to see if it's going to be a full hour but but I, <laughs> that's the hope. That's the hope. And I say DC because I like to follow up with a deep conditioner after um I just like to do a deep conditioner every single week even if I do a gloss treatment. I still like to do a deep conditioner. You don't have to. I mean, you technically put a deep conditioner in your gloss treatment, but for me personally, that's just what I like to do. But we'll see if I change my mind once once you know I look that how late it is and then I realized that I need to get up in a certain amount of time so anyways y'all I will finally talk to you later and here's my hair again and we will see you here shortly um oh and I plan to put on my hot head I don't know if I said that okay steam is really good though if you can use steam y'all use steam use steam if you can okay anyways this opens up your cuticles especially if you low porosity hair and just get your hair just to be able to suck up all that amazingness from these herbs but if you don't have time for that like me right now and you don't have it and you don't know where the pieces are to your steamer then a hot head is gonna do you just fine boo okay y'all i will see you in a bit all right y'all i am back i'm back i'm back and let's hurry why this why this, <laughs> why this ring light has some act right okay oh i didn't even <laughs> bark okay rhyme Poet didn't know it. Poet didn't know it. Okay, y'all. So I just rinsed it out. Okay. <laughs> y'all, my hair. My hair feels soft. Hang on. Here's the true test. Did I rinse it all the way out? Because I was. I rinsed it in the sink. Ooh. Did I rinse it out? Ooh. Okay. Y'all. Okay. Can we. The shrinkage has, has entered the chat. Okay. As the girls say, shrinkage has entered the chat. Uh, uh, yeah, do you guys do you guys see the curls? Do you guys see the do you guys see the curls? Just like hydrated station. Wow. Looks like a deep conditioner was in here. Okay, and that's what I love about so I definitely my hair um my hair feels nice and soft. My hair feels nice and soft. And at first when I was rinsing now, I was like, does it feel a little, does it feel a little strengthened? I was like, but everything I use wasn't strengthening. Like nothing I use was strengthening. So no, my my hair feels so um I'm sorry. I did have the magical molasses and the rice in there was some rice protein in the um styler i used and there was some baobab protein like midway through the magical molasses but still y'all like it's just my hair is balanced okay my hair feels good it feels nice and hydrated it feels nice and soft and as you guys could see from my curls how my hair is looking yay yay so that's what and that's what i'm talking about y'all like i knew that my hair needed some moisture so i was hoping that these herbs would come through i was hoping that my friend the glycerin will come through okay <laughs> he said i'm outside i'm outside i said okay i'm coming hold on let me put on my coat i'm coming <laughs> like yes 
is yeah my hair feels very 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 good um it rinsed out clean y'all um it did not take me this like long amount of time to rinse it out like it just it just rinsed out it just rinsed out no little bits in my hair y'all um the key is just always rinse your hair until the water turns clear so if it's a dark um ayurvedic treatment then until that water is clear keep rinsing Keep rinsing, get into every nook and cranny, separate your hair as you're going. Every, sorry, I had to crack my neck, y'all. Oh, it was stiff, it was stiff. Um, take your time when you're rinsing your hair out because one thing you don't want to do is if you do it in the shower, it's to get all the way out of the shower and you find a lump right here filled with Ayurvedic treatment. It's one thing if you leave a little bit of deep conditioner and you, you like, it's all right, it's all right. You can't be leaving no herbs in it. Don't, don't be leaving no full-blown treatment herbs patch in your hair somewhere, okay? Because... I've done it before and it like over time it'll start to like not only itch but it'll start to like dry up on your scalp your scalp is gonna be itchy don't leave an Ayurvedic pouch I mean a patch or a section of hair with the Ayurvedic treatment on it just go and rinse it okay trust me sis bro you boo trust me okay trust me trust me so yeah y'all my uh, my hair feels good that's what I was hoping for because I knew I just wanted that hydration so I was just feeling my hands. Look, because I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, I, <laughs> I'm thinking I missed the spot. Yeah. Okay, I did. So I'm gonna go back in and go get see. And that's what I'm saying about you. You'll feel a little bit on your scalp. Like, dang, I gotta rinse it off. So I'm gonna go rinse this off, y'all. And then I'm going to, um, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to deep conditioning. And then for my Ayurvedic treatments and stuff, y'all, I just literally rinse my hair clean. Um, I might use a um, a co-wash like I have some co-washes like I have a sultanical one that I love it's this like Manoy something uh, co-wash that they came out with let me know do you guys want to review on that one let me know if you guys want to review on that one it went straight to leader size and I'm glad she did because <laughs> whoo love it but um, I like to use a um, a deep conditioner that has um, I'm sorry not a deep conditioner uh, I either like to rinse out my hair out with a regular conditioner, which is like the Camille Rose one, like that one I love, or I like to rinse it out with a, um, sorry, like a co-wash that has like the cleansing ingredients, like low down the ingredients list. I never like to rinse my Ayurvedic treatments out with like clean, something with a cleanser at the first or the second ingredient personally or, five, or top five personally, because I just don't, I feel like then I'm washing away like everything that I just like worked hard to put in you know what I mean you know because then you're it's, it's come out so that's how I like to do it personally but anyways for this one y'all I just rinsed it clean so I'm gonna rinse my this little area right here take my own advice then I'm gonna move on to my deep conditioner but yeah y'all that's it so just remember all those little tips that I gave you guys what did you guys think of this video are you gonna try this are you gonna try this are you gonna try it with some of the herbs that you have are you new to Ayurveda and you're like Ariel, please give me more. Please give me more. Let me know. Comment down below. That really helps my channel, y'all. And it also, like, it encourages me. Remember, I ugly cry. I ugly cry when I see y'all's comments. When I see y'all's comments, I just okay okay so please do let me know and let me know if you guys like this like these videos because if, if you press that like button if you comment down below i'll know okay keep the ayurveda train going because i have some other ideas in my head that i want to bring to the channel um but yeah your support goes a long way okay 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 i'm off my soapbox i'm <laughs> i'm hopping off of my soapbox okay and going night night so y'all Thank you guys so much for watching my channel today. Thank you for watching this video, guys. And thank you for watching it all the way through to the end. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all. Okay, don't forget to share this video. Y'all just want to hop on one more time really quick and say this mask goes to show you guys that not all Ayurvedic herbs are strengthening. So I repeat, not all Ayurvedic herbs are strengthening. You can still incorporate Ayurvedic ayurveda in your regimen and not always feel like you have to you go your hair going for you know break off because it's so strengthened all the time okay so just remember that so you can constantly have ayurveda in your regimen every week without it always having to be strengthening herbs so in my, that video um that you guys requested about at least a few of you um, requested it about like me going in depth about each herb and stuff it's coming it's coming okay okay so i hope you enjoyed this little mini vlog i'm just kidding all right y'all thanks so much again for watching bye and y'all don't forget no matter whatever you're going through okay 
Won't he do it? <laughs> he said he would. Okay, don't forget that. Don't forget that. Go first, bro. Okay, okay. Bro, sis, you, boo. Don't forget that. <laughs> All right, y'all. Thank you guys so much again for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.